Well guys, another day of trimming the driveway. There's still quite a few branches hanging over that the barn may brush up against as we're going through here. Gotta clean it up to at least 14 feet wide through here is what they say. Some places we can only get the 12 feet because of that fence right up against the driveway, but I'm gonna trim back as far as we can. In order to get our barn down this driveway, but we've been clearing along the sides. Uh, previous homeowners kind of had it, like it was literally at the height of the truck here. So we've done a lot of clearing to clear off all this brush throughout here. Yeah, I mean, that is all from just today, cutting down some smaller trees. I think the biggest one might've been five inches in diameter. So not too huge, but luckily we don't have to cut anything down like this because look at this. The barbed wire fence has actually been engulfed <laughs> by this tree. It's grown around it. So that would not be easy to, to trim out. This has been left to grow a little too wild and crazy. So I'm still gonna take my pole saw and trim off some of these branches after I move the truck back a little bit. And we'll just keep on going. Here's Deanna with the hedge trimmers working along the side. Deanna's still taking the hedge trimmers along the side. There's a bunch of vines that were growing right along the side of the driveway as well. So we're trying to clear those off. Not just for the barn, but so we don't get scratches along our truck when it grows back over the spring. Yeah, they got quite the drainage ditch going along here before we moved in. It's probably about two feet, three feet deep, probably in some areas. Mostly two feet deep though. All these, just a crazy amount of uh, thorn bushes growing out through here and thorn vines. It's, it's pretty crazy. Good thing we got those hedge trimmers. Yeah. Kind of a lifesaver. 
the most annoying types of branches along this driveway are the ones that are really high up out of the reach of the pole saw but they start growing back down i mean i could technically get a ladder and put it up against that tree and try to get the pole saw up there but then it could fall on me so i'm just going to trim as high as i can reach and hopefully that's enough to keep the barn from hitting it Not as good as I can get over there. I might still brush up against the top. I just can't reach it. Now oh, you can't see because the sun, which is my part of my problem this morning. I gotta cut this over here. Luckily, it's going much quicker because even though there's thicker trees here, there aren't as many branches hanging over. So, making our way through. Deanna had a lot of work to do over here with all these vines because it was really thick through here. I'm trying to get a wide enough for that barn but I think we've got most of the branches overhanging there's some that are just too high up for the pole saw and there's definitely some trees in the future I'll need to cut down but not going to do everything today because there's still a lot of other projects I need to get done today as well ah, beautiful mountains <laughs> Thank you.